Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. And today we are covering the Tactical Construction Mod. And uh, this one is fairly new, only about a month old. Uh, but it's definitely worth showcasing in my opinion uh, because it actually covers something that I personally uh, get kind of frustrated with and have asked for uh, in the base game. And uh, this brings it. So what this lets you do, or, or what uh, al allows a game to do, is it basically forces your personal bots to take priority over the network bots when you're in a network um, to build things, uh, but you can toggle it on and off, which is something um, I really like. Now, it's done in a little bit of a janky way, probably because that's the only way it can be done. Um, what it does is it kind of creates like a different force that's like an ally um, to force the bots to build. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, it explains on the mod portal, uh, not super important, except that you probably don't want to turn the mod off in a save once you've enabled it. So just a quick note there, um, once you've put it on uh, in a save, you probably don't want to uninstall or disable the mod. It may cause issues, so just a heads up. So how does this work? Well, we have a network here, as you can see, and I've taken a blueprint of this uh, furnace build here. And uh, we're going to go once with this off. Um, and uh, see what happens. Now, it's possible our bots may just build it anyway. It's possible construction bots. You can see it's kind of a mixture of both, um, which is okay. But in some cases, uh, what happens is your um, bots in the main network will just decide to do it. And then you're just standing here waiting for bots to fly, you know, halfway across your base to come build stuff, um, even though you may have some of the materials uh, yourself and stuff. At least that's what I've experienced. So um, now, if we go ahead and toggle this on, you can see it did make a little bit of a change here uh, with the map and stuff. But if we go ahead and place this again, um, we should see that only our personal bots build it. And that is the case. Um, now, how this works, though, is uh, like once you leave the area with your personal ports, like get out of the range, um, anything left should change over to... Um, having your main network build it and then as you enter something uh, like a blueprint had I placed a blueprint over here I obviously wouldn't reach it but if I walk over here um, then it would then give it priority to my personal port as long as this is toggled of course um, so for example uh, let's just get rid of uh, just test this real quick together here let's just get rid of all except five furnaces so we're not going to obviously have enough to complete this but there is enough in the network uh, so let's see how this works uh, if we do this you can see this places them um, not enough unfortunately now once I untoggle it it will definitely switch back uh, once I completely leave the area you can see these bots do in fact go and complete the job so I do have to be out of the area um, for that to happen or you just have to toggle it off but once you do leave um, get your construction range out of there um, then the base will take over so I think it's just really cool you can toggle it on and off Again, you can see it kind of puts you on a different force. Uh, so, you know, may cause this issues if you try to disable it mid-save, mid-game. Um, but uh, overall, seems to work well. I'm a big fan of it. I really, really would like this as a toggle in the base game. Obviously, you know, a bit more smoothly implemented, which I'm sure the devs would be able to do. Um, but uh, anyway, there you go, guys. There's a mod. Uh, in terms of any settings we may have here, there are none. Uh, very straightforward here isn't really unlocked with technology. Of course, it will only work once you have a personal port since that's what it does. Um, but anyway, there you go, guys. Link description to the mod portal where you can check this out. There's a very, very excellent description of how it works and a ton more info. Um, so that should answer any further questions you probably have. Um, and there you go. But uh, any thoughts and questions, you are still welcome to leave below uh, and I'll do my best to reply. Uh, but until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.